इसमें अभिजीत चक्रवर्ती फ्रॉम कोलकाता एंड आई कॉज सिलेक्टेड इन बी आर सी एज ओ सी इलेक्ट्रिकल दिस ईयर एंड दिस वीडियो इज टू शेयर माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल सम अदर फैक्ट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल लाइक टू स्टे दैट माई गेट ट्रेक वन डबल टू फोर सो आई गॉट द इंटरव्यू कॉल थ्रू बी आर सी ऑनलाइन रिटर्न एग्जाम सो डायरेक्टली कमिंग टू द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरव्यू यू हैव टू चूज ए फेवरेबल स्लॉट एंड यू हैव टू बी प्रेजेंट ऑन दैट डेट इन मुंबई अनिशक्ति नगर so i was there and my document verification started at 8:30 am uh and it was a bit tight so i entered the interview room at 3:22 pm and will say it later why i'm exactly mentioning the time so uh, they started they asked me to sit and uh, my interview went on for 1 hour 30 minutes and some other things that i would like to say that the interview is purely technical it doesn't matter whatever they ask about beyond any not technical questions and point 2 is that about the communication it doesn't matter if you are weak in english because if you want you can continue the interview in hindi my interview was in a uh, mix of hindi plus english so hindi is allowed and you can clearly see my english too that i am that not weak good so they started me with saying that uh, since i am 2017 pass out they asked me what what was doing for the last one year i said sir i was preparing for uh, gate is student bar now here one is the main point remember in case you have to pronounce the word bark any way you have may have to pronounce the word uh, pronounce the word bark never say the word bark always say b a r c pronouncing bark is a very wrong impression it creates a very wrong impression so they started with the they tightly went to the technical portion they asked me to write down four subjects which i would like to answer i said machines power system network theory and electronics the first then they started with machines uh, the first question that they asked was from induction motor they said me can you say some can you say me a way how to improve the starting torque of a squirrel cage induction motor constructionally and they focus on the word constructionally so i started with the skewing and on and all which are all wrong they gave me a hint that have you heard of a double cage induction motor i said yes sir then they asked me to draw the construction of a double cage induction motor to explain about from the flux what the flux about what modification we have done and all and all and everything then the, the torque slip characteristics how do we mix the torque slip characteristics to get the maximum torque at the starting and everything and they asked me to pure, draw the event with pencil and they give a eraser if you have drawing done they asked me to erase it okay so they asked me everything about the double cage induction motor then they asked me okay now can you say how can i externally improve the starting torque of a squirrel cage induction motor i said yes sir if we decrease the frequency the starting torque increases keeping the vif ratio constant then they uh, said me okay draw the graph torque slip uh, curve and uh, after drawn uh, they asked me to mark the position of the starting torque maximum torque and the synchronous frequency remember synchronous frequency decreases because the frequency decreased but the starting uh, starting torque increases but the maximum torque is always constant this is what they wanted to see but now they asked me why do we need to keep vif ratio constant i said uh, if i don't keep the vif ratio constant saturation sets in and uh, and the magnetic current goes high then they said okay can you tell me uh, induction motor or a transformer which has got a higher magnetic current and why i explained about the air gap concept we have to explain it then said okay why does the saturation sets in why does the core saturates i said about the non linearity uh, they asked me to draw the bh curve i drawn and they showed me how the position of the non linearity in the bh curve how can you say this uh, it will have a non linear property i will just explain them everything i need to explain then they slowly uh, then they asked me what happens if the core saturates i said and this slowly drifted me uh, drifted me to the point of harmonics what are harmonics and all then they asked me to draw the both the cases in transformers uh, about the harmonics where uh, the, the magnetic current is sinusoidal and the applied voltage is sinusoidal and they asked me to draw the flux wave voltage wave induced emf wave magnetic current wave everything and they also asked me to draw for even for linear and non linear both so i have drawn uh now they asked me a question that in there is a case that a flux gets flat topped so uh, they asked what are the harmonics present i said 
and uh, then they asked me how can I say that the uh, even harmonies are not present I sent out the free series up to this was okay then they asked me a question that good question it was um, in a case the yeah there's a case magnetizing kind is picky which also uh, this is the reason is third harmonic and the other case is the flask is flat top, which is also the because of third harmonic then said since both the uh, both have both uh, harmonics same then why do we have a one case of flat top and other case of picky the answer to this question you will get in swell's video in the picky case it is the uh, third harmonic is added and the Flask, uh, flat top case the third harmonics is subtracted so I explained them and they said okay okay then now next they said uh, what is the induction generator I said the uh, induction generator uh, that uh, how will you get the induction generator uh, to in Energoza uh, Venice and all everything then they said uh, why do we prefer a synchronous generator over an induction generator now I said about this uh, you know, synchronous generator we can control the power factor by changing the works by excitation but induction generator always works in language power factor now next question comes why don't uh, they said why don't you use the induction generator what is the from disadvantage use the induction generator i said induction generator always works on a lagging power factor and point two is that uh, we need to all we need some source some reactive power to develop the magnetizing uh, magnetic field in a the like in an induction generator like a capacitor back to supply the reactive power or at least or the voltage some other from voltage source beforehand so uh, to develop the magnetic field we need something so but uh, they were not impressed that much with this answer then they asked me tell me the use of application of induction generator i said in the breaking of railways uh, regenerative breaking then they asked me to uh, show the graphs and all uh, regenerative breaking draw me the graphs and all they explain how which point we are doing it everything will get it then they asked me which uh, industrial water sleeping or squirrel cage has got more application is mostly used i said uh, squirrel cage industrial water is widely used because of its rugged nature and all then comes the why which motor is used in elevators? I said the three phase induction motor. Then this asks me squirrel cage just uh, slipping. I said probably squirrel cage. That uh, tells me the concept. I said by VVF ratio constant. Read the speed control of VVF ratio. And then they asked me, let me see, other than of me. Um, then they asked then they ask me one more question. We, they asked this question at the very end of the interview but since I am putting the machines right now so I am putting it right now this is the thing they asked me the torque slip characteristic they have given a torque and then the speed characteristic of induction motor and they have given this is the torque speed characteristic and they have given three loads load A, load B and load C they asked me which for which load the induction motor reaches a steady state stable operating point faster i am not sure about the answer what i said is that c will reach faster because c has got a higher uh, accelerating torque and c has got a higher accelerating torque so it will accelerate much earlier so it will reach fast at c and then will b and a will never start because the starting torque because the starting Torque, uh, the load torque is here then the starting torque for A so A will never start first C will reach and then B I am not sure about the answer then they said but uh, you are saying that C will reach first but the speed of C is higher still the operating speed of speed higher how can it reach faster I said since the accelerating power is higher so it will always accelerate to the uh, the acceleration will be more and so it will reach uh, even if the speed is more it will reach faster I am not sure about the answer but uh, what I have said I have said after that they sent me to leave and this was all from machines part then I am um, they asked uh, they went on the other subjects like network the first thing they asked me network was this diagram this is the source ammeter 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 in all the three ammeters 10 ampere current flowing 
they said these are two elements z1 and z2 z1 and z2 can be linear non-linear active or a passive this z1 and z2 can be anything just send me this tell me is this condition achievable can 10 amp left to here and here also if so then what was the what is z1 and z2 and tell the condition this is where i got struck i mean it took me a bit of time to get an answer they give me some hints like what you are thinking and everything they are be supportive they won't just sit back and enjoy your silence they just will make you speak for the whole time so they're supportive and ultimately i reached the conclusion that z1 and z2 are one of them is rl and other one is rc and they are having a phase separation of 120 degree so they asked me to draw the phaser and beyond that the what will happen if it is pure c and pure l and all so that was okay then they asked me a second question they said there are two bulbs each of 110 watt to 220 voltage they are written series and parallel calculate the power consumed in each case now the question is easy very easy but i thought initial loss is easy but they added the condition at that point of time they said you can calculate you are not going to touch the pencil nor you are not going to calculate in your mind you have to answer spontaneously so the very first time i just got struck how can i answer it but this is very simple the parallel it for parallel it will be 20 watt and for series it will be 110 watt only so you will just solve you will get it so these are all from machines and network and uh, next comes is power system and power electronics